Hello everyone, I am Bolt Matrix, and this is Spike Wick Wiki, core class figure, legacy, purchased at Amazon. Let's open him up and take a look. Ripping and tearing this guy out of the box, we can see that he's in um, a T-pose, practically? I mean, it is practically a T-pose. The figure comes with one, two, three, four, and five different plastic ties that you will need to clip off or cut off and then this little flimsy baggie in the back. The baggie I'm hoping contains something tasty but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It contains blast effects. Two of them to be specific. They kind of look like weird spiky pumpkins. You can eat pumpkins. One thing worth noting is that he is mistransformed in the box. Take these shoulders and turn them back, and then you can fold the arms down, and it gives him, the figure a much more humanoid look. Even if I did like the wheels on the shoulders, that was a neat look. It reminded me of a, like a little cog, but this is the way the figure is supposed to look, and it is much cleaner. A little bit messy on the back, that's fine. The figure out of the box looks pretty good. I think the coloring is just about spot on. Maybe the blue is just a little bit too light and maybe the fists could be just a tad darker. But overall, the figure looks good. The only hollowness is at the bottom of the of the legs and that's for kind of the transformation. Otherwise, yeah. The figure's fine. It looks a lot better than I thought it did. I think I'll probably take a Gundam marker and do some major panel lining on the figure because I think that would make the figure pop more. There's just no dark tones uh, balancing out all of the white and the bright blue. But yeah, Gundam marker would definitely work in this case. The head sculpt that is inside the dome is not great, but I appreciate the effort. It can move or pose back and forth by a little slider on the back of the figure, so it can look back and forth, not up and down. And the slider is back here, and yeah, I do appreciate that little bit of gimmickry because it actually adds to the posability, which is not great, but is adequate. Shoulder is on a swivel, there is a hinge joint and a hinge joint for the elbow and then a swivel at the forearm and then another swivel for the transformation. No torso articulation, ball joint in the hip, ball joint in the knee, no foot articulation. Now the transformation gimmick I talked about was the fists literally swipping or flipping around 180 degrees and these little blaster components showing up, which you can then add the blast effects to and he can go shooty shooty bang bang. Yeah, that works. I'm fine with this. For Spike's transformation, we're going to start with the dome and turn it like that so that the white piece is getting in his way. And before we continue, one thing I forgot to mention. Spike has no brain. This Spike figure has no brain. He has Rodimus Syndrome. They've hollowed out his head. He is mindless. He has no brain. Continuing on with the transformation, flip the arms all the way up like this and then flip the shoulders around all the way until the wheels are pointing forward like that. There's nothing locking them into place. You just kind of have to get the wheels perpendicular to the rest of the body. Then turn the arms around at the upper swivels just below the elbows like so, and then fold the elbow sections all the way back so that the fists are pointing up towards the cockpit, or cockpit, the head dome thing. Yeah, we'll go with head dome thing. I like that. Now take the legs and turn them around 180 degrees at the knees and you can peg them together. Once you have the feet turned, kick them all the way forward at the hips. And then there are these little joints, little hinges just above the knees. You want to collapse those sections back and they will peg into place in the little openings just above or just below the knees. So you want it to look like that, like it's squatting. And that's it. That's that's the transformation into his um, vehicle form, quote unquote. Not gonna lie, vehicle mode's not great, but it's fine. Though ever since I was a kid, I always looked at this or when Daniel transformed and wondered how in the world are his bones not broken? But 
cartoon logic, cartoon physics, I'll let it go. Yeah, I'm not loving this alt mode. It's not so much a mode as it is, uh, well, I don't know what it is, to be honest. Yeah, we'll just go with, that's a thing, all right. That rolls. Sure. It does technically pass the doot de doo test. doot de doot de doo doot de doot de boom So this little thing is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not broken. It's lackluster, sure. It could use some more paint. But overall, it's fine. In fact, now that this is out, I'm wondering if we're going to get a Daniel that has a slightly different transformation, maybe? Because we never did see Spike's vehicle form in the movie. We only saw Daniel's. But it was Dad's exosuit, so maybe. Size comparison-wise, it's a core class figure. What else can I show you? I, I really can't show you anything other than another core class figure. But I think it works. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly serviceable. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not broken just needs a little more paint and maybe a bigger figure with a better transformation but that's not for me to figure out that's for the third parties to get a hold of this CAD model and try and do something with it yeah I wonder what they're gonna do I wonder if they're even going to attempt it well folks that's been my review of Spike Wick Wiki exosuit form from the late from the legacy line dang it I keep saying that it's from the studio series line <sighs> got too much going on what can i say so folks let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons thank you so much for watching i have been ball matrix and we'll catch you all next time probably with something yellow and buggy <laughs>